I was aware. How you guys doing, man? You guys are nice and cool today. Yeah, it was a, you know, it was a tough day of practice. It was a tough day of practice, but a good day of practice. You know, uh, it's a passing league. And, you know, like, that's where a lot of us shine. And we have to be able to protect Josh. The guys have to be able to show what they can do when it's time to do it. We have a lot of new faces, and they've been showing up. You know, like, our young guys are great. Our older guys are great. And uh, Josh looks better than he ever did. So happy to be here and protect for that kid. It's tough. Coach knows what he's doing. Uh, two minute to end a practice is tough, but I would rather do it in practice. So when we go into games, it's easy. Uh, but he picked the right day for it. Coach definitely picked the right day for it. But uh, two, the two minute drill in any situation, whether it's practice, whether it's in a game, whether it's in a scrimmage, whether it's in a walkthrough, it's always the toughest because you know, a two minute drill, it could be the end of the half, it could be the end of a game. Usually we're practicing for it to be the end of a game. And uh, you have to be at your best. And that's where your, your, your players will show up. And um, you know, I'm just honored to be a, a part of a great crew and group of guys, Mads. Um, Cause I've been here for a, a, a little bit and every year there's new faces and we get to see who's who's coming along, who wants it, who wants to go up and get the ball, who wants the ball, who's gonna outrun, who's gonna push and finish just that much more when you're tired and when you're dead tired, when it's feel like a hundred degrees, you know, Buffalo don't really get this hot, Ro Rochester don't really get this hot. So it's like, all right, who, who want it and go get it. So uh, the guys definitely showed up and showed out and we have a good team. The defense did it and the offense did it as, like uh, as well. Yeah. Growth. He's uh he's grown a lot. He's grown a lot, man. Uh, Jen, like he's he's becoming his own person, and you know, watching a young guy come in and you know not really play yet, but work hard and not really get his chance yet, and now he's getting his chance and he's taking full advantage of it. And I'm happy to see him take full advantage of it. You know, he has a family, his people is around here and he's showing out and he's per performing. And he's up early and he's here late. And uh, I respect it. I respect somebody who's hungry and sees the opportunity and is going for it because the best man wins. Yeah, what do you make of Travis Clayton and uh, how you're learning, picking up any English phrases? Say it again? It's just hello. So hello. <laughs> Should I got? What do you make? What do you make of this guy though? You know, putting Travis out for the first time and, and you know being out here like uh, you, you very little football. Back. Yeah, I mean, uh, it's a uh, there. Well, the other day at practice, we had two guys that didn't know how to put their pads in, in their pads. So uh, one on offense, one on in defense. So it was pretty cool, pretty shocking to see. But you know. This league is special and we have special players. Like, I'm proud that he's made it to where we are. Cause you know, like as kids, like we work our, our entire lives to get to the NFL. And for somebody who did it across the pond and made it here, you know, I tip my hat to him. But uh, he's he's one of my guys, like he's a big boy. So I protect him at all costs. Back to Shavers, from our perspective, he seems to be on an upward trajectory. Yeah. As a player, how can you tell when a player is on that trajectory? Same way how you see it. Right, like y'all are watching, you know, like he's 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 out there, he's 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 catching balls, and like not to look at it for what it's not, just look at it for and what it is. Like when you guys are watching in practice, like you guys are seeing energy, you guys are feeling it at, like energy, you guys are seeing the swagger about a certain player, you're you're and you're seeing how guys are walking around just like with that extra bounce, but that extra bounce, that's a that's a real thing, so. You guys are seeing that extra bounce, and as a teammate, we see that extra bounce, and he's uh, he's shooting up, man. So proud of him. Yeah, and I know in these practices, it's offense or defense, but Tigers is one of the guys you're close to on the team. And it feels like he's really opened up to us in the last several months about you know, what he's gone through to get to this point. But how have you seen the growth from him and how he's performed in the camp so far? Yeah, I think it starts with uh, 
with Kair just eliminating all the outside noise and even eliminating some of the inside noise. And he's done a great job. You, you know, uh, Kair has a, has a good support team and his support team is keeping him on track where he could just play free, you know, and I'm happy that five is doing what he does now and, and he could show us why he's, he's a first round pick, which he's always has. Like when he gets in a game, Kyer does what he does and he's in practice and he's showing it. And uh, I'm just happy that Kyer is, is, is feeling more like himself, feeling more and like himself. Cause like this league, like it can eat you up and spit you out very, very quick. And for a kid to not let it eat him up and for him to just keep chucking away at it, keep chucking away, keep chucking away, wins and losses, wins and losses, you know, mental wins, mental lo and losses. And now his mental is all wins. So now you'll see the results of the mental wins on the field as well. At the park, right? Yeah, what's some words of encouragement for the community? Man. You know, I'm not too familiar with Rochester's community, so I can't just jump in it. But I, I honestly, there's a time and a place for everything. And even though that there should never be a time and a place for the bad stuff, but when you live that bad life, there's a time and a place for everything. But I, like, I think that people really need to pick and choose when there's a time and a place. Cause you know, like I have children. You know, like when people are doing things around environments where, where children are, are just at play, it, it don't sit well. And, you know, I just think that the, the people that are causing whatever they're causing, like they just need to just, just take a second thought, man. Just take a second thought, because that second thought could definitely save a life. Yeah, that's a, you know, it's, it's a, the crazy thing is it's not as nerve wracking as you would think because our staff that we have here is top tier. And if they weren't top tier, then I would be a nervous wreck. But because we've gone through some traumatic, traumatic incidences with this team and with things that have happened, I'm confident, you know, uh, I'm thinking that it's just heat related and you know like he'll go to the hospital he's probably on his way there with IV bags in him and he's probably on his on his upbringing anyway because you know like Alec Alec is a tough dude so regardless of what it is uh Alec's fighting and he'll be all right and I'm hoping that he will Joe, Joe Brady earlier was referencing how he has conversations with you kind of reminding every day of, every day every day reminding you of elite status all pro snow so I wanted to get your on the receiving end of yeah. Joe. Yeah, it's a, it's a, you know, like there's a point where you could be cocky. There's a point when you could realize who you are. And there's a point of, you know, understanding your presence, right? And I think the presence that I have, you, and I've been saying this over and over, it's time. Like, like, it's, like it's just time, right? Like Pro Bowls, I'm, I'm thankful. You know, top 100, I salute it, right? Like, whatever it is, but all pro, I need to be an all pro tackle for Josh Allen and nobody else. I need to be an all pro snow for Josh Allen, and then I need to be an all pro snow uh, tackle for Deion Dawkins and then for the rest of and my team. Every year that I'm not that, and it's just a, a personal thing, I feel like I'm letting Josh down, even though like I still do a great job, but there's levels to it, and, you know, I have a certain walk about and myself, I have a certain aura and I have a very positive and confident aura. And for me to be truly who I am, I need to cross that threshold. And I appreciate that uh, Joe or Coach Joe um, is reminding me of that every day because when you are a leader on the football team, it's good to hear another leader speak to another leader. And I tip my hat to Brady out of respect that he reminds me of that every day. And uh, I appreciate it. And that just shows that he understands his, his players and he understands who his left ta tackle is. And uh, I'm a fight. Like I'm, like, I'm a fight until I get it and I'm gonna keep fighting when, and when I do and it's gonna da 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 da, domino effect. So 
uh, I appreciate Joe. But yeah, Joe re reminds me that before every walkthrough, every meeting, before every practice, it's like it's like he just comes and just taps that bell. All pro snow, right? All pro snow. So all pro snow. I'm I'm fighting for it for our team and for our community. You know. Yeah. How is he coming along this Vaughn time? is Vaughn. I don't know if y'all see what's going on, but but they better watch out. <laughs> 40 40 is back. 40 is back and uh 40 is 40 has his has his aura back and uh you know like Vaughn's locker is behind mine every camp that he's been here like literally right behind me and um Vaughn is Vaughn is Vaughn and uh just let the story play. Just let the story play. Is there a different vibe in the offense this year? Of course. I mean, there's a lot of new faces and some guys that are gone. Of course there's a new how, how vibe. Is it, how, how's, how's the vibe different? Well, Diggs ain't here, right? Like, the vibe is, I guess, a whole different party. You know, like, uh, we have a lot of – I don't want to downgrade anything, but we have a – bunch of guys that are shooting at that elite level and when they're shooting at that elite level it's a lot of dogs like it's a lot of guys that are that are on that grind like it's a an example it's like it's a lot of guys before they get paid right like everybody like wants to talk about oh I got paid I got paid right it's a lot of guys that are at that threshold right before who do you want to be you want to be this guy or you want to be in this guy and I honestly enjoy that because when you're at that line, you're either going to make your mind up or you're going to turn your cheek and, and bow, right? And the guys that we have, which is a, a lot of them, they are chucking away at it. And when this camp thing is over with, these coaches and this organization, they're going to have a hard time of picking and choosing because everybody's right there. Everybody's right there. Everybody can catch. Like everybody has rack, which is – after the catch and they're playing hard and I think that the aura and the energy of those skinny guys what I call them the skinnies the 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 skinnies are are throwing their weight around and it's good to, it's good to honestly see it cuz they're carrying it and they're come on now we've and we've been at our whole life and our whole career you know like maybe for a quick a quick second they might have been the bills but but this is where we are at, and I love it, you know? Turn their head. Cool. Yeah, what, did, what would you tell you how tough it is now for the younger players with the rules changing for practices, days off during the camp, no two-a-days? And yeah. Days they, days. Uh, how tough is that for the, for the young guys coming and learning a new system and trying to make the team? How tough is it? Well, I actually have never thought of it as, as being tough. I think it's a little bit easier for them. Um, but I guess now in thinking about it, it can be tough because we, it seemed like we had more practices back in the day. Yeah. And, you know, I'm a practice guy. Like, I learn more in the field. Like, if I was building a house, like, I don't want to learn how to build a house in the classroom. I want to learn how to build a house with the hammer and, and, and a nail. And, I, like, I think that that could be the only thing that can be hard for, for people that learn plays differently. But, um, I think that the coaches do a good job of having the walkthroughs and in meetings and our little bit of, you know, Nick's like, but like where we get that extra coaching. But besides that, you know, practice is practice. It's like, like this is camp. Camp is always hard. But our guys are smart guys. We have a lot of smart guys that have, have got picked up here and they're on the right track. And it seems like that they're chucking away the right way at it. A young guy that has stood out to me, new, new guy. They all do, honestly. Um, I really like Savers, and I consider him a young guy. You know, Mac, you know, new. Mac is cool. You know, uh, Jamarcus is probably my, my favorite of everybody. Jamarcus is my favorite. Um, he's a kid, and I call him a kid, and I don't want to son him, but he's a, he's a younger kid, younger man that just does the right thing. Comes to practice, you know, he talks his stuff when, when it's appropriate. He gets to his meetings. He does 
in what he does, and he plays hard. And it just shows that if you want it, you'll get it. And I respect him. I love him. And uh, I treat him as a brother, as well as the, the other guys. But if my favorite is definitely Jamarcus. Jamarcus, um, we're talking to Bean about their approach at cornerback. And he's a third-year undrafted guy who's in that kind of fourth hole. Mm -hmm. Like, they didn't bring in a veteran in that room. Do right. you think he's, you know, it's because of how much they believe in him? That's exactly what it is. And that's that hidden gem. Jamarcus is like one of those players that can go out there and he can play corner. He can go out there and he, he can play maybe even star. Like he can do whatever he got to do and he could definitely play in special teams. But he's just one of those players that's long, physical, and fast. And those are the type of players that we want on our team because you can do a lot of different things and also do one thing if need be. And I don't see him as a, as a oh, if somebody can go, goes down, like I think that he's fighting for a spot. And I respect him for it. And I hear how he talks. And I just love his approach of just attacking it. Because nobody wants to be in second place. And nobody is settling for it. And even though he understands the, the realism of the nature of this game, but he attacks it as if that doesn't exist. Yeah. Yeah. Cool.